Hello everyone, welcome to the kitchen. I'm super excited because today I am making one of my favourite foods in all the world, bread. This is my classic bloomer loaf, it's so easy, it's like one of those trashy breads, you know you get in the supermarket the really squishy loaves that are all white and lovely. I've prepped a few stages in advance, um, so let's get cracking by first of all mixing up the dough. So I've got some strong bread flour going in there, it's really important, you get good quality high protein, strong bread, white flour, like the really strong Canadian one is good. A little bit of sugar, a little bit of salt. You don't really wanna have the yeast making direct contact with salt, because sometimes it can, um, you know, not kill it, but it can slow it down. Dried, quick yeast. Wet ingredients, I've got warm, sort of a hand hot warm water. It's around about 300 ml. It does vary, all flours um, vary in absorbency, so I'm not gonna put the whole amount in to start with, and I'm gonna check, check on that as it comes together. So maybe I'll put like three quarters in to start with. And then my melted butter. So now I'm just going to bring this together. I've got a preset menu here for my dough kneading. Dough kneading, bosh. Keeping my eye on the bowl there. Um, Seeing if I need to add the rest of that water. Just needs to kind of come together. It'll look a bit like a shaggy porridge to start with. Touch more water, I think. Just gonna go in here. It needs a little bit more. Now I can see that all of the flour has come together. That's gonna take about five to six minutes to knead in a machine like this. If you're doing it by hand, you just gotta sort of give it lots of welly on the deck um, until it comes really boingy and springy and it will become more sort of like a smooth and pliable ball rather than a shaggy ball. That's looking pretty good to me so I'll show you my boingy dough. It's nice and springy and pliable. Let's get it into a bowl and I've just lightly oiled it so it doesn't stick. I'm just kind of like form it into a bit of a ball. There we go, pop it in there in its little home. You want to cover it with a damp cloth. He's gonna go somewhere lovely and warm and uh, we'll come back when he's almost doubled inside and nice and bouncy. This dough has been resting, I've kneaded it and now it's doubled in size. So you can see it's grown, it's nice and puffy. I'm gonna get it out here, so you see it's all kind of bubbly. I knock it back a bit, just knock the air out. Now I'm not using any flour on the surface here because I don't really wanna add any extra flour into it. And it shouldn't stick too much. Make it into a rectangle first, like that. So I just kind of pressed it out. Fold it just into three like that. Give it a quarter turn. See, I'm always doing this, trying to get some like, air bubbles in it. And now we want to just twist it up like a little Swiss roll. Nice and tightly like that. Tight bloomer shape. You can kind of just shape it like that. Got a baking tray here which I've got some par parchment paper on. Pop that on there, cover him back up. Farewell, little fine fellow. And now I'm just gonna leave him to rise, it depends on your room temperature, till it's kind of sprung up and it's a bit more puffy. So put that somewhere warm. Right, so this one's really puffed up. It's kind of a bit too risen, to be honest with you. So it needs to go straight in the oven. Dust it with some flour, bread flour on there. Then I'm gonna slice a couple of, sort of slashes across. You can use a sharp knife, I'm gonna do five actually. You can use a sharp knife if you don't have a bread razor. And that's now gonna go in the oven, 220 degrees for about 25 minutes. And then I'm gonna turn it down to 200 for a further sort of 10 until it's completely cooked and really golden. So in that goes. And I've just grabbed a tray of water. I'm gonna put that in the oven as well to make some steam. So it goes nice and crusty just underneath the bread there. So we're just gonna wait for that to be baked and the room's gonna be smelling lovely. So I'll see you when it's done. Behold the bloomer. Now when it comes out of the oven, you do have to wait for about at least half an hour before you cut it because otherwise it will just squish. So let's go. Oh, it smells incredible. Oh. Now anytime you make bread, you have to have a warm bit. I literally, my, my tummy's rumbling now. I'm just going to finish this off now. I'm, I'm, I'm almost speechless, I can't do the outro. All I can say is thank you for watching. Everything you need to make this is down there. Please subscribe for more videos coming soon. Enjoy your bread. Mm -hmm.